thank you for joining us. So today I thought I would focus on really exploring the uh, poses from your midline. You know, we have this vertical midline in our body and it also helps us, you know, kind of relate to either side of the body. And so following on from a little bit of what we did the other day, we were doing the front and the back body. We're just going to focus on the midline and see, um, see where that takes us today. So we'll begin. So again, if you've got a towel or in my case, I've got this lovely fan blanket works really, really well for pranayama. My other blankets are a bit thick, which work really well for shoulder stand. So I just like to accordion this and uh, that's how I create it. And then like we started the other day, we'll come down to line on it. And you know, what we can do to start with is you could just have your feet bent and then just slowly roll it down and see if you can feel uh, that your spine is on the blanket. And then with the feet still on the floor, the knees bent. And you know, some of it can be our folding. So just because you feel a little off center doesn't mean that you are, but you can just get a sense of both sides of the body. You can also take your hands and feel like your rib cage here. And then if you feel up to it, you can straighten the legs out and bring the arms sideways. And just notice what you feel on each side of the body. You could feel like one shoulder's a little higher or lower. And then if you want to change arm positions, bring your arms into cactus position if you can. And if it's hard getting those, you know, a lot of times I support locks under your wrists. You can hold them up for a few breaths or you can bring a little bit lower than your shoulders. But the idea is to go into a different arm position and just notice what you notice in terms of, does one shoulder feel higher or lower or more off the ground or, anyway, you can feel a number of ways. And then just see if you can feel that length through your tailbone and all the way out your top of your head as you breathe. And we were also playing the other day with maybe when you inhale, you want to feel that force coming up your body as it lengthens up the top of your body, then it rolls over your head and lengthens down the back side of your body. So that, that can be a useful breathing experience. So we're gonna just try to experience what does our midline feel like through that central core of the body, that vertical midline that runs up and down. And so we'll take that into postures. Now just bend the knees again and you can bring your hands here and we're just going to see what it feels like to bend the knees here and straighten them up. It might be too much tension or you might have to scoot down a little bit on your towel. It, it's going to put a little bit more pressure on your back. Just see if you can do it this way. If not, you can take the blanket away. But if you can do a couple of these like this, 
and just notice if you can feel that midline running through the body as you inhale, bend the knees to the chest, exhale, bring them down. Inhale, extend the exhale, bring them down. Of course, you can modify it and have the legs lower. That's okay too. And then on the next exhale, just we'll take the blanket away and we'll just come back into line on the floor and then just notice that midline again. It is your spine, but then of course there are muscles in your front and back body too. There's other layers in the skin, etc. So now inhale, bring the knees, extend up, exhale, bend down, inhale, up, exhale, down. Now on the next one, we're going to try one leg up and one leg down. And just notice if you feel a bit of shifting in your midline or if you can maintain that feeling of that midline here. Can you keep feeling that length through the spine as you straighten one leg up and one leg down? Exhale, inhale, exhale. And of course, you can modify it and, you know, bring the legs closer together if it's too much. Inhale, exhale. So we'll do two more. Or I guess it depends on you being even. <laughs> Inhale. And then bend the knees in. Place the feet down and roll to your side and come up into big toes together, knees wide. A couple of breaths here. And then we're going to shift over to the left side. And can you maintain? that feeling of the midline, even though you're moving off to one side. So it might require a little bit more lift in the left side abdominals or the closer to the thigh side abdominals because we're not trying to bend the torso here. We're trying to stay even. and walking the hands to the other side. And again, see if you can feel, still feel the midline. So by going to the side, it puts a little bit more uh, challenge to feeling the midline. And then come back to the center and just notice if you can feel that midline, that length from your head to your tailbone, from your tailbone to your head. And then inhale, come up to all fours and then tuck the toes under and go into a downward dog. And again here, see if you can feel now everything's integrated along the spine, that your sides are even, or maybe you will feel, you know, something's going on. Maybe you're leaning more to one hand. Actually, what we could do is we could play with that. We'll do that in the next one. So bring the knees down and go into big toes together. Knees wide, just for a little rest 
and then inhale, come up, tuck the toes under. And so we'll just take a few breaths trying each. So what if I lean into my left hand? What starts to happen? Now, what if I lean more into my right hand? And then what if I come and try to even the pressure in my hand? And then what if I lean to one foot, the left foot, and then I lean into the right foot, and now trying to bring that center. And what if I can really press both feet and both hands pretty evenly? Can you feel that length in the spine? And then bring the knees down and go into big toes together, knees wide. And then come on up to all four and swing that right leg between. So now that the legs are different and you come up, how do you feel that midline? Start with those arms down next to you. Can you feel that midline when the legs are different? And then what if you try to lunge a little bit? Can you feel that evenness in the spine? Maybe you want to place your hands on the thigh for a little bit of balance. And then maybe you want to go a little further, bring the arms up. Can you still feel that midline, that relationship between the tail and the head in the front body? And then bring the hands down, swing that right leg back and inhale, swing the left leg forward. And again, just coming up, feeling the arms down by your side. Can you feel that verticality in the spine that supports the torso? Then can you lunge a little forward, perhaps putting the hands on the thigh. And then if you want to go a little further, you can inhale the arms up. And then bring the hands down, swing that leg back and then swing the other leg through. We'll add something more to it. So this time, swing that leg through. First coming up, you can bring the hands on the thigh. Now, can you feel the midline here? Now, can you tuck the toes under and not lose that sense of the midline? Or maybe it's like you have to re-ground into it between the legs. Can you feel the midline now? And then if you're feeling okay there, you can inhale the arms up into lunge warrior or warrior one. And then bring the hands down, dropping the back knee, hands next to the foot, swing that leg back Then bring the left foot between your hands, bring the hands up on the thigh, find that midline, and then tuck the toes under, and you can come into lunge warrior, warrior one, and can you feel that midline, or does it get a little lost or confused? And then you could bring those arms up, couple of breaths then bring the hands to the thigh right drop the knee down and bring that back leg I'm not sure if I'm sequencing the same way each time 
and then bring the hands on the mat and tuck the toes under and go into a downward dog and just notice if you can feel into that midline. Couple of breaths there. And then walk the feet and hands to each other. And you can have a little bend in the knee and really just, you know, shake out that torso a bit. You can swing the arms a little bit, shake it out. And then see if you can slowly roll up the spine. It's nice when somebody puts their hands, you know, here along your spine. So you can feel yourself as you slowly come up to standing. And then if you're able to, just take your first two fingers under those little bony bits of your head and see if you can just, just press in there and feel that length in the neck. So the chin should not be lifting up. It should be like parallel with the floor. And then release the arms down. Now see if you can feel that midline. Maybe one of your shoulders feels a little more elevated than the other. We're all a little bit asymmetrical, so <laughs> don't worry about that. But one of the things I like about this jumping into the poses is it's sort of like a movement to bring us into the midline and out again. And I might do more with my arms this today to really emphasize that. So we'll bend like we're in Utkatasana, hands crossed right in front. And then as we jump, we jump wide. So this is you still can feel that midline, but you've got that width with your legs and arms. And then take that left foot toe to heel. I'll be mirror image, right foot heel to toe. And then see if you can really press into the feet and see if you can really keep that midline going in this pose so that you're not like curving the underside or doing something funky. So see if you can just slowly keep feeling that midline as you come down into Uttita Trigonasana Extended Triangle Pose. We'll stay here. We won't do anything looking up to the hand. We'll stay in that feeling of that midline. And then inhale, slowly come up, shifting the feet so that it's Right foot toe to heel, left foot heel to toe. And then really press into those feet, engage the legs, and then see if you can slowly feel like you're carrying the whole midline with you as you come down to Utita Trikonasana Extended Triangle Pose. Couple of breaths there. And then inhale coming up. So now we're gonna jump into the midline. So you can bend the knees and then really bring those hands through. So you wanna push them down like that and then come out to the side. And maybe we'll even um, do that, exaggerate that more when we jump again. So bring those palms down and then when you jump, so when you bend, they're gonna rise up and then jump wide. And then take that right foot toe to heel, left foot heel to toe, or left foot heel, whatever, right foot forward, I'm mirror image. And then we'll go into Paj Bokanasana. So you're first gonna bend the front leg and then see if you can slowly take that torso feeling that midline and that length. 
And then if you want to bring the arm up and over to feel that intense side stretch, you can. We won't change the head or the neck. We just want to feel that midline here. A couple of breaths here. And then inhale, slowly come up, coming to the other side. So it'll be the right foot toe to heel, left foot heel to toe. And then you'll bend first, like through warrior two, and then slowly bring that torso over, feeling that midline. Then you can bring the forearm here. You can stay here if that feels right for your practice or you can bring the arm up and over to get that side angle going. And then inhale, slowly come up, bring the feet parallel. And as we jump, we'll bring those hands together and press down. So bending the legs, jumping in and really pressing that arms down and then out to the side. And just stand here a few breaths. If you liked putting the fingers under the head to feel more length, you can give yourself a little bit of a uh, press here into those occipital area. A couple of breaths here. Then we'll again bring those hands down low first and then bring them up and coming out wide. And then this time <laughs> we, I didn't get a block out. If you need a block, you can use it or you don't even have to put your hand down the floor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly come down with feeling that midline into triangle or just going towards triangle. Then we're gonna bend that shin and we're gonna slowly come up into half moon pose. Um, I've got furniture here I can hold on to. And see if you can keep feeling that midline in half moon pose. This is where the blocks come in handy. I'm just using this because it's right here. And then see if you can bend the front leg, keep that midline awareness going and come back into triangle pose. Couple of breaths here. And then inhale, slowly come up. Pivot the feet around. And then it's the right foot toe to heel, left foot heel to toe. And you'll start by really feeling that midline going into triangle pose. Then you'll slowly bend the front leg and inch your way into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Try to feel that midline. And then slowly bend the front leg coming into triangle pose. See if you can feel that midline. And then inhale, slowly come up, bringing the feet closer together, softening at the knees. When you jump back in, pressing the hands down and bringing the arms next to you. Really. Uh, feeling into that. Another great way is when we do sun salutations is often there's a form where we inhale the arms up and we really bring the hands down through the midline when we go forward. So that's also another way to bring that awareness of the midline. And we can do just one of those. I'll have to come to this part of the mat. You can bring the arms up. And then as you bring the hands through the midline is when you go into Uttanasana, standing forward bent. 
you can have the knees bent here. And then if you're up to it, you can take bend the knees and jump back into a plank pose and see if you can really feel that midline there. And then you can come back into big toes together, knees wide. And since we're, I don't know, going this route, <laughs> let's um, do a, a little bit of half plank. And I mean, let's do a little bit of plank and then uh, heck, side plank. So come up to all fours, tuck the toes under, come into plank, feel that length in the body. Now see if when you come over to the side, you can keep that going. Now, again, you can put a foot in front or behind you in this pose. But see if you can really feel that midline in the body here. And then rolling back over into plank, coming back into big toes together, knees wide. And then inhale, coming up to all four, coming into plank, rolling to the other side, see if you can feel that midline leg, coming back into plank, and big toes together, knees wide, couple of breaths there. Come into um, whatever Shavasana you'd like. And if you still have your, if you wanted to do feet in a chair, you can bring the spine along the blanket when you put your feet up the chair. And that gives you nice support, but also that awareness of that midline on the back side of your body. Or you can, I use it, I use this often when I do feet up the wall, like my bolsters here, my feet are up the wall and I lay across this. And that's another option. And the other option is just Shavasana. And if you need more support from your head, you can always tuck the blanket or the um, towel, you know, just fold it, fold it over or fold it under. So that can give you some more support. So whatever you choose to go into this part, you know, choose what feels right for your body at this moment and just let yourself settle into it. Now, like I said earlier, folding the towel or the blanket well, becomes kind of important to, um, you know, not create more imbalances. So you might always want to check when you fold one. I showed you the other day that I had this door stopper that's, it kind of feels funny, um, but it's also another way that's more even. I mean, there may be other things out there that I'm not aware of. Might be skinny bolsters, I don't know. But certainly you can roll a towel and do this too. Whatever pose you're in, let yourself settle into the pose. See if you can become aware of your lower spine and your tailbone. The tailbone actually does a little curl forward. See if you can feel the end of the tailbone. Or if you can't exactly feel it, just imagine it. Just imagine where it is in your body. It's below the pelvic bowl. And 
then see if you can feel your sacrum. Your sacrum is this triangular bone that's at the base of the spine and the back of the pelvis. And see if you can feel all the edges, all the width in that part of your body. And then see if you can feel the lumbar spine. The lumbar spine is a natural curve in the spine above the sacrum. If it's over curved, it might look kind of like a sway back, but it is intended to have that natural curve. Sometimes the muscles around the lumbar spine get tight. So see if you can feel the muscles beginning to soften and spread. And there's the thoracic spine and that curves a little bit the other way but often we over curve it like we're in flexion and that's quite a long part in the spine and it comes up behind your rib cage between your shoulder blades and see if you can feel space between those vertebrae and the space between your shoulder blades. your cervical spine which again is a another curve like the lumbar spine and those bones run up to the top of the bottom of the skull the atlas and the axis see if you can feel space between the cervical spine softening at the base of the head read you another quote from my latest inspiring book, The Story of Every Flower. Take one step each day in the direction of your dreams. Never underestimate the power of small daily acts to lead to moments of greatness. As the rest don't overthink it. There's no secret formula. The magic is in the doing. You will figure it out as you go. So it's the same with your yoga practice. <laughs> so I could alter the words to suggest taking a step on your mat, but I won't. I'll just speak it as she spoke it. Take one step every day in the direction of your dreams. Never underestimate the power of small daily acts to lead to moments of greatness. As for the rest, don't overthink it. There's no secret formula. The magic is in the doing. You will figure it out as you go.
So slowly begin to reawaken your body. Bring some movement into your fingers and toes, hands and feet. You can give yourself a nice stretch and see if you can feel that length through your body. And roll to your right side and come up to sitting. And thank you and namaste. Namaste. Thank you for watching and joining us.